Hello, jellyfish enthusiasts. Jellyfish Art here, and today I'm excited to guide you through the process of acclimating jellyfish to the new Chrysal Aquarium. Acclimating jellyfish demands careful attention due to their delicate nature and specific needs. So here's a step-by-step -step visual guide to help you ensure a smooth transition for your new pet jellyfish. Step one, prepare the habitat. Ensure your Chrysal Aquarium is fully set up and operational. Check that the filter is running and the tank is filled with salt water mixed using pre-measured jelly salt packets to achieve the ideal salinity for your jellyfish species. The ideal range for our lab cultured moon jellyfish would be 30 to 32 PPT. Your jellyfish aquarium should be appropriately cycled and include appropriate filtration as well as a directed flow pattern. A chrysal aquarium designed to keep jellyfish suspended in a circular flow is perfect for this purpose. Before introducing the jellyfish, confirm that the water parameters in the new aquarium match the ideal range for your jellies, including temperature, salinity, and any other relevant factors. Step 2. Order your jellyfish. At Jellyfish Art, we run a state-certified aquaculture facility devoted entirely to jellyfish. We oversee every phase of their reproduction and meticulously hand-raise them until they're ready for their new homes. Our commitment is to ensure that we provide vibrant, healthy jellyfish through sustainable practices for years to come. Our jellyfish are captive bred, non-venomous, and perfectly suited for room temperature environments. To order and select the size of your new jellyfish, simply visit our website, which is linked below. Step 3. Acclimation Be ready to acclimate the jellies on arrival within 8 hours of receiving your new pets. Gently empty the contents of the inner bag containing the jellies into the larger outer bag so all jellyfish are swimming together in the larger acclimation bag. Remove enough water from the aquarium to float the bag inside without overflowing. Roll back the edges on the bag and float in the aquarium at the surface to acclimate the animals to the current temperature. Now we add a fourth cup of water from the aquarium directly into the floating bag. Make sure air bubbles do not get trapped underneath jellyfish. Repeat this step, adding a half cup every 10 minutes for one to two hours. This trick is meant to get the jellyfish used to the new aquarium water while remaining in the transport water over a period of time so they can slowly get used to it. Submerge the bag in the aquarium and allow the jellyfish to swim out. Now adjust the water in the aquarium to keep the water level within the max water level line depicted on the sides of your chrysal aquarium. Step 4. Jellyfish Behavior the jellyfish may swim and pull slowly or not at all while acclimating. They may also float or sink. This is normal for the first 24 hours. It is important to note how the jellyfish are behaving within 24 hours of acclimation to be sure they remain in good condition. After the first day, you may begin to feed about a half scoop of our dry jelly food every day. If you have any questions about your jellyfish or jellyfish art aquariums, or if you need assistance getting started with your jellyfish adventure, please reach out to us at info at jellyfishart.com. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest news and exciting updates from Jellyfish Art.